Hello, I'm Nick. Hi, I'm Mike. I'm a Gemini. We're playing Tiger Venom. I'm also a Gemini, and I also play in Tiger Venom. Jesse Reed here with Drop Entertainment. I'm here with Tiger Venom. How are you guys doing? Very well yourself? We're doing great. I'm pretty good. You guys uh, just finished your show at Rancho Relaxo. What'd you think of the show? It was a good one. I think sound-wise it was uh, one of our better ones in the more yep. recent future. I think we're very well as well. Yep. Okay, and uh, okay, so people haven't heard you. How would you describe your music? Um, I would say beat heavy electronics with punk hardcore vocals. I'd say the vocals are quite sassy. Um, being the vocalist of the band myself, and uh, yeah, we just pretty much like if Aphex Twin impregnated the Locust with the Blood Brothers baby. I'll throw the bloody beat words in there for a good measure, just for, uh, for sure, just for the steady rhythm, especially with the masks and everything, right? Just a yeah, just a pretty general description there. Right? Just, for, <laughs> yeah. just uh, we really like to generalize stuff uh, on a daily basis. Yes, yeah, so you guys. Uh, you guys have quite the original sound. How do you guys go about uh, writing? Like, how's the writing process for you guys? Um, the writing process usually starts off with me generating instrumentals. I'll usually send Nick. I'll just keep sending stuff as I make it. He'll come up with ideas for stuff. We'll record uh, a batch of material and uh, whatever kind of. Whatever collection of songs is more cohesive for release, we'll sort of massage and uh, put up. I think our firm, we have two, uh, we have two GPPs. To our name. The first one I would say is more influenced by kind of that electro, almost dubstepy sound. Whereas on our second one, we kind of went for more uh, drum and bass, kind of up tempo uh, feel. To elaborate on that, I would say our first sound was very influenced by the like work that Justin Pearson did with uh, Designer Drugs, Bloody Beavers, etc. Like the Steve Aoki, Dim Mac. Kind of seen and our later record we kind of just wrote as not trying to go for a sound and just going for a whole cohesive album as a whole although i did rip off the upbeats significantly for the second album. yeah okay i listened Fair to enough. a lot of them for our uh, first second ep question sleep there enough we might not hear that in the interview but <laughs> uh, well, uh, I, go don't, I don't know because I kind of my idea for the music was to make something that was a derivative style of dance music so for sure I think we add a new like flair to something that's been done before it's not necessarily new and we're not necessarily like uh, pioneers in the genre but we're kind of adding a different vibe to something that previously existed and also, never really existed in the Toronto music scene whatsoever, so I guess, in a sense, we're pioneers in that respect. I guess what we try to do is take two different genres that were already existing and kind of mash them together. And because of our personalities and we are who we are, it kind of turned out to be something that people tend to tell us is original. And not many other people are doing, at least in the scene that we're a part of. I would agree. Like. Me personally, as the dumbass vocalist, I just like to add my own flair, such as wearing masks and designing my own clothing to go along with their sound. Okay, well, we're on the topic of evolution. Notice you guys got a cassette out. What made you do go, uh, go that route? I, 
You can film it if you want, Delicate Artifacts. I guess. I gotta shout out Delicate Artifacts um, to the Shahidi. He, uh, I guess we've come from the Toronto metal scene, being a lot of metal bands. And uh, all the releases that kind of seem to come out of that scene have to just have uh, people put out a lot of tapes. And our friend, who almost from the band with eyes wide a face, uh, we've always put out tapes and just seem the natural, just it doesn't cost anything. And I think being from, you know, children of the 90s, when you see a tape, it's sort of a... a eclectic. Eclectic. I don't, know, I don't want to say feeling nostalgia, but it's something familiar that you don't see. Like, you know, you see a Nintendo cartridge, you're like, oh, shit, I remember that. I, I haven't seen that in, in, in how long? But, and I think people seem... At least I feel the same way about when I see a, a tape. Mask is a more recent addition. I uh, I started um, trying to work with a uh, clothing company, kind of concept, uh, making this idea of bare brains, um, open brain society, and um, I started designing shirts originally. Now I'm looking into designing masks and sort of full-on ensembles. Uh, Incorporating that with the group. Also, general lasers we love, and eventually that will come into play, like um, LED clothing and stuff like that, hopefully. That's awesome. It'll become our future. Yeah, since, since our band is very, I guess, bare bones, where you know, he's singing, we have some electronics going, and I do some vocals. It, it, now you're a kind of traditional band where you can watch, you know, you can watch somebody playing an instrument. I find that having a light show, you know, strobes and lasers and stuff kind of makes up for that kind of showmanship uh, aspect of seeing a live band. That sounds weird. No, that makes uh, perfect sense. Yeah. And I would agree. <laughs> We're uh, working on a more kind of down tempo, progressive uh, outing. Uh, named Foxes, influenced by the myths of Slender Man and the Rake. Uh, they're kind of internet phenomenons. It's going to be a little bit different from what we're usually used to doing. Uh, very down tempo, very non screaming, non abrasive, and uh, kind of just a psychedelic story of uh, two kind of mythological creatures created by the internet. Yeah, so if people want to find you online, where do they go? Bandcamp, I would think. It would be uh, the easiest way to search us on any media outlet is ti.gerve space n-o-m. I don't think any other band or any other person has decided to uh, kind of skew the letters and uh, phrase like that. Um, but other than that, you can go Tiger Venom, straight up words. No spaces, no punctuation at bandcamp or sorry, dot bandcamp dot com. Awesome. Okay, well, this is Tiger Venom on Dropout Entertainment. Check these guys out. My name's Mike. <laughs> His name is Nick. We are in Tiger Venom. Yeah, I'm gonna need to go.